Yo, yo, yo. Uh, back to Peace Fest. My name is Kev Hicks, your host. And uh, this man, uh, I mean, seriously, uh, I'm pretty sure everybody knows who this is to my left. We got uh, Mr. DJ Lethal with us. How you doing, bro? Uh, today I'm peaceful. DJ Peaceful, not, <laughs> not Lethal. Peace Fest, peaceful, but... Now back to Lethal. Now, for those who don't know, this is one of the producers of the event. Uh, 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 he's been very involved uh, from day one. We did a song together uh, on this. Uh, we also did a song together with uh, Legacy, Andre Legacy. Um, uh, how'd you get, how, how'd you find this, dog? Wow, I mean, it was overwhelming, you know, like uh, so much going on, yeah. you know, between the acts and filming, the DJs and the... The graph artists uh, and the art, man, it was it was a cool vibe. I felt like it was kind of back in the '80s, and you know, it was like Radio Tron vibe. People was hip hopping, breaking. We had the LA Breakers come out. True. I mean, man, true. This was like a. It was a big event. Yeah. The LA Breakers, by the way, killed it, man. They killed it. They uh, uh put on a real good set, yeah. uh, for Peace Fest. Um, what got you involved with Peace Fest? Money. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, actually, you know, it's uh, for charity. So that, you know, when I first heard about it and um, I, I started out doing beatboxing and graffiti back in the days, you know, before I was doing music, I was stealing markers and pens and and uh, spray cans. And, you know, that was that was the lifestyle that, you know, when you grew up in Hollywood, you know, I grew up around, you know, Fairfax High School and Bancroft. That's all, like, in those days, you know, it was all about rap, breaking, and graffiti. Yep. Those were our hard hobbies, you yep. know, growing up. So it's uh, it's good to, you know, get that tradition going and, you know, somewhere where kids can come do it and not get in trouble is uh, is really good for the, you know, just community and stuff, man. So that's why I really got involved is just for kids and, uh, you know, just keeping the art alive. Yeah, keeping that's, the that's music, what I was the DJ, and the breaking, you know, the graffiti, keeping it alive, and it's a great thing that they're doing here at Pico Union uh, Housing you know. Corporation. That yeah. was my point too, the fact that it was legal and it, and it was uh, a place where it was held safe, and all the people that um, was down for the cause actually came and supported it, and uh, you know, everybody everybody uh, did their thing. Uh, what do you think uh, about the music acts tonight? Oh man, we had such a great variety of stuff. I mean. Uh, you know, Andre Legacy. <laughs> I mean, you know, that that was, I love that dude ten times more. Any band that played tonight, I love ten times more because you could see the dedication. They they came out, they didn't they nobody got paid yep. anything, nobody like they just did it on the strength of just the whole vibe and uh, you know, I like every band like ten times more. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm not gonna say anybody stood out, but you know, my man Kevin Hicks kind of did his I thing. did my thing a little bit. Uh, yup, C minus, Patience Price, everybody, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, future, it was a real good future, turnout. Future people just annihilated the stage and like people missed a great uh, a great show, you know what I mean? I agree. They pretty much killed. Yeah, they pretty much killed the stage. Uh, them public trust did, did a great job. Andre Legacy cursed everybody out. He did his job. Uh, Peace Fest was a success. Uh, of course, we know you from uh, House of Pain. We also know you from Limp Biscuit. Uh, what's up with them cats? You working with them? Uh, um? uh, yeah. Um, now back in the band, I, I took a little break, a little went on a little hiatus. You know, I've been going for. You know, my first tour was like in 87, 88, so I, I had to just take a year and just find out who I am again and just like live Lior DeMont, not DJ Lethal. But um, actually, yeah, I'm back with Biscuit and uh, we got two albums we're working on. You know, we're on Cash Money and, uh, you know, Lil Wayne's going to be in the first uh, single we're dropping. And, That's uh, super dope. Yeah, so uh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Anna. How long, how deep are you guys into the project? We just started rehearsing again and writing songs, so we're like it's funny because, you know, after like 17 years, we've like five, just now got a band room like for six months. Like we're dedicated to having a room, you know. Still like usually bands like start out having a band room. We we never had a band room, you know. It was always either a garage or I was on the West Coast and the band was in the East Coast and we kind of just mashed it all it together, out, made yeah. it work, and the band would come out. But it's it's cool to just have everybody in one place working like you know, when you see see those old Beastie Boys studio footage shots and, and you would see like everybody in the room and just gear everywhere, everybody's on a 
keyboard or guitar or something, you know what I mean? So it's like bringing that vibe back, you know? That's so, dope. So yeah, it's kind of like a rebirth, you know what I mean? I can't yeah. wait to hear it, y'all. Yo, dog, I'm telling you, it's gonna be hot because this man is a monster. Uh, like I said, we did a couple songs together, so I know uh, what he does in that studio. Y'all may not, but this kid is the illest, illest, illest uh, uh, beat uh, maker in the city, probably in the country yeah. and close to in the world. Hey, w when you make a beat, what goes into it? Does it, is it just you smoke something and? Yeah chill is it you it definitely depends if you got that single herb or you got that album track herb you know? <laughs> <laughs> i like that single herb you know what i mean yeah hit, yeah, them, no say, doubt. hit singles man but what goes now, into um, it you know i don't know um it's just that's that's my outlet you know what i mean like some people go you know play paddle ball or tennis or something you know what i mean i like making beats and fishing it's it's just how I keep saying. He said fishing, y'all. Okay, we got some new hip hop elements coming in real soon. Yeah, fishing, fishing MCs bass. fishing. That's <laughs> got the bass, man. <laughs> the bass and the okay. bass. How low can you go? Yo, bass. yo. So, um, is there uh, uh anywhere uh you playing soon? Anywhere that we can come check you out? Uh, I don't know yet, but you know, catch me on Twitter at DJ Lethal. And what's yours? So they I'm at Kev Hizzle, K E V H I Z Z L E. Yep. And uh, yo, just look out. We got a bunch of stuff coming. Me and you doing some stuff. So we got, uh, you know, the Coca Nostra's record is out. Go cop that. I got four or five yeah. joints on that one. That's the homies. Uh, my boy Slane, you know, he's uh, he's doing his thing right now. He was in the town and, and uh, whatever. Just a bunch of nothing. And there it is, Peace Fest, Kev Hicks with my man DJ Lethal. Yes. Thanks for listening, tuning in again. Thank you very much. Peace.